Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and respected scholars. Before I start, I'd like to thank the organisers for inviting me once again, giving uh, Nuri and I the opportunity to explore Nehjul Balawa through poetry. Uh, before I start, can I have a salat ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad? I remember a time when life was simple, when all our cares and worries would disappear by the morning, and then we grew up and life took its toll and left us with worries, stress and mourning. Oblivious like spring leaves know nothing of autumn, which leaves me to wonder, do we all have time wrapped around our necks like ropes waiting to be hanged until all that remains is black and white photographs chipped at the edges, stained with coffee, or photographic pixels in a hard drive with our sons and daughters editing the brightness so they can see our faces more clearly because they're finding it quite difficult to remember us, to remember how we used to look like, how the lines on our faces would shape our smiles, how we would hide our eyes when we cry. And this thought hurts me, because all photos would show a mirages of what was a lie, and this thought hurts me, and I know exactly why, because we live to be eternal, but end up being passers by. So I strive to be a story, one that will never die, one that won't subside with every reason and rhyme. And if I could write one, I would write one. If I could write one, I would make sure every word fits in its right sentence. No more, no less. I would make sure a million lives are touched by my presence and not forced, but rather swayed by its eternal message, message its gentleness and elegance for them to read and decipher each movement element by element, to have all my chapters remind us of the creator's excellence and have numerous commentary of his benevolence with each syllable a stamp of precedence but then I remember stripped away from my arrogance we had it all already in Ali's peak of eloquence knowledge knowledge running like crystalline waterfalls from pages no man from the earth cycle or stages could be Ali but Ali himself and it always begs the question how can a man be so powerful yet so elegant how can a soul be so powerful yet so elegant? Poetry of man, and I know this myself, poetry of man is written in mortal ink, but as if his words are writ written from, a, from the sands of a million fallen stars, and as if his eyes have fallen asleep to a millennium of night skies, as, as if he's journeyed to places unseen in mortal skin for him to speak with such confidence of the unseen. Great men come in different guises. Some die are often, and are often forgotten. Some great men aren't remembered by their actions, but rather their words and that they've said or written. And others are great beyond measure. And others are great beyond measure and have been born to be so. One th over 1,400 years ago, a mother felt the presence of her child. And this presence was like no other, so much so the house of God called her. So much so the house of God called her, so she entered into his sanctuary and there angels paid homage and poets ran out of vocabulary to describe the son to be in all his beauty and glory, Ali. And who was waiting on the other side, but the first light waiting for the second to arrive, knowing full well the destiny this child will hold, for he was the city of knowledge and Ali was his door. And no man would fully comprehend him, the father of the poor, the prophet's one true heir, the hands that give in prayer. The hands that give in prayer as thunderous as a storm in battle, a devastating killer twist. But when it comes to love and manners, he's as gentle as summer mist. His knowledge will leave him lonely. His knowledge will leave him lonely like the darkest depths of the ocean. 
In a pale world in color, he'll be drawn as a frustrating sinking moon, bowing to Muhammad's majestic dawn. Soon, soon the world will either love him or hate him, the segregator of hell and the heavens, just as life was created at the split of an atom. And like seas, we either drink from the bitter salt or his sweetness, and nothing is sweeter than the peak of his eloquence. Thank you. Oh.